When we approach the signal box, the signalman saw us and the two men explained to him about the matter. I'll put you on an old sign so that diesels can't be able to spot you. There's some bushes and tarpaulin in my cottage. That should cover you up. I had never felt so relieved in my life. Oh, thank you. I was put onto the siding and the two men shut off steam. Extinguished my fire and then put a green top rolling over me and put some leaves to make it look like a bush. They placed buffers off the rails in front of me. Then they stayed at a cottage near me at the time past. I heard sounds of diesels past me, taking no notice of the big bush. That covered me. When night time and no diesels were in sight, the two men came back and removed the leaves, buffers and tarpaulin, and were just about to put them back on the main line when... Wait! I've just been informed that a goods train is coming around! You'll be seen! I was horrified. There was no time to cover me back in the tarpaulin, for the diesel was already in sight. Three men quickly entered the cottage near me. The, de the closer the diesel got, the more scared I felt. Soon the diesel stopped next to me. You must be that engine from the very scrapyards who we were told about yesterday. Y yes The diesel studied me. You're scared. Y yes Well, I don't think a steamy like you should be scrapped if he or she would be scared. I always thought scrap was never an option. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. B but I thought I thought all diesels were bad. Not all of them. Where are you headed? To the island of Sodor. Why? I'd do anything to help a steam engine escape from scrap. <sighs> okay. How do I get there? Take the line to the bridge to Barrow and Furness. Barrow is the quickest way to Sodor. Okay, where's the bridge? Just follow the track and I'll take you to it. Okay, thank you. Anytime. By the way, if anyone asks, I never saw you. Okay, but what is your name? Before the diesel could say anything, his driver spoke up. Sorry, but we don't have time. We have to get this train to the scrapyards. Good luck. You're gonna need it. And the diesel left. Two men who helped me escape from the scrapyard got out of the cottage. The moment the diesel left, I explained what happened. So, the diesel was helping us? Yep. He also told us that as he wouldn't tell anyone else. He said we were to go to Baron Furnace as the quickest way to Sodor. That's splendid, but there's one problem. There's a scrapyard at Barrel, so we have to avoid that. Oh, well, we have to try and make it to Sodor. You're right. Let's go. And we did. It took a while, but eventually we made it to Barrow. We tried very hard not to be seen, but one day something horrific happened. I stopped just a few inches from the bridge to Sodor. What happened? We ran out of coal! And your water tank is empty! Oh no! We'll never make it now! The worst was to come. Two class awake twins came up to me. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A steam engine? What a surprise! And you ran out of coal and water. How beautiful. The two men were terrified. Driver, tell that engine's driver and fireman to get out of here if they don't want to get a bullet in their chests. The diesel's driver did so, and the men who helped me ran away as quickly as they could. I felt bad for them. I also knew I was doomed. We'll make sure you're scrapped. Bother him, Bert! 
the diesel then took me away to the scrapyard. I was scared. I thought that this would be my last time I saw the light of day. Hey, Harry. Why aren't we taking him into the smelter's yard? Because, you ninny, it's undergoing renovations. Oh. I forgot. Whilst I was in the scrapyard, the scrappers came and scrapped my tender. And then one day before the scrappers were ready to come and scrap me, I saw the same diesel I saw before approach. Hey! Stop! The diesel stopped. Oh, Dane. You got caught, didn't you? Yes, my driver and fireman fled in fear of being killed and I'm here. I see. I know a sign that you can hide in. The scrappers are less likely to find you here. Oh, thank you. The diesel quickly took me away to a siding. hiding place for me and sure enough when the scrappers tried to find me they couldn't I remained there not speaking for decades I still wanted to escape to Soda so badly and now that you're here do you think you can help me Edward grinned of course I will Barry my branch line is in need of another engine to help out and I'm sure Arthur will be happy to see you again and for the first time in years Barry felt hope return to him again. Edward coupled up to Barry. But what if people see us leave? Don't worry. This isn't the first time I saved someone from scrap. I saved the traction engine in 1953. Edward then puffed out with Barry coupled to the truck. They were getting close to the bridge of Sodor when they saw a man in the distance. He was in front of the tracks and seemed to be trying to get their attention. Oh no! A scrap merchant! They found me! Don't worry, my driver and fireman have a plan. Edward soon brought the train to a halt. What's this? A 2M210 range of no tender? We were just getting ready to scrap them decades ago. You can't have them. Actually, he's for us. Save for yourself. The driver handed out a piece of paper to the merchant. While he was reading, they crossed their fingers. If Edward had fingers, he would have crossed them too. Barry, on the other hand, would have chewed the nails on his nervously. Finally, the merchant stopped reading. Hmm, ah, seems in order. Looks like you're free to go. The driver and fireman thanked him, and Edward set off once again. What? How did that happen? It was a trick my friend Douglas taught my crew and me. He saved an engine from Scrap 2 in 1968. He had an adventure quite like yours, but he didn't come from the LMR. He came from the Great Western Railway. His name is Oliver, the number 11 of the Northwestern Railway. That's amazing. I know. They didn't go that far, but eventually, they reached Sodor. Edward shunted Barry into a nearby carriage shed. I can't thank you enough. You have no idea how grateful I am. No problem, Barry. I'm sure the Fat Controller would love to have you on his railway. And when Edward was uncoupled from Barry, he set off to Timmins Sheds. When he got back, the others questioned him. Where have you been, you old-timer? The Fat Controller will be here any minute. 
I was just coming back home when I found a steam engine. Say what? Edward told the others about Barry. All of the engines were in shock. Then the fat controller arrived. What's this I hear about another engine? I saved the steam engine from scrap, sir. The fat controller's eyes were wider than the engines. Edward then told him about Barry and how he saved him from the scrapyard. Take me to him at once. Yes, sir. Later, Edward returned to Barry's shed. Hello, you must be Barry. My name is Sir Richard Topham Hatt, but you could call me Sir. Hello, sir. Edward has told me a lot about you. You are just the engine we need to help out with the passengers in good strains. Do you think you're up to it? Yes, sir. Good, but we must take you to the steam works first. We can't have you doing work while you're still rusty. Edward, take him to the steam works to get restored. Yes, sir. And Edward coupled up to Barry and took him away. When they got to the steamworks, Edward shunted Barry in front of the turntable. Victor was there and puffed onto the turntable. Hello, Edward, my friend. What brings you here? This is Barry. He's going to be helping us with passenger and goods trains. Can you please restore him? Sure thing. Just put him on the turntable. Victor backed up and Edward put Barry on the turntable. Don't worry, my friend. You'll be fixed in no time. Ugh, Kevin! Sorry, boss! As the weeks passed, Barry became more newer like he was back in his early years. But one day, a surprise came for him. Duck was shunting something into the steamworks. Hello, Duck. What brings you here? I found this tender in the scrapyards. Barry could use one, don't you think? Well, I think so too. Leave it where it is. As soon as we're ready, we'll have Barry's new tender in working condition too. After a few days after summer had started, everyone had gathered to see Barry. They had heard from the Fat Controller that Barry's restoration is finished, and they wanted to see him for themselves. Engines of the Northwestern Railway, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our new number 13, Barry. Barry. I feel like a young engine again. I'm so glad I'm here. As we all are. Welcome to the Northwestern Railway, Barry. Barry couldn't have been any happier. <laughs>